the ball, try and drive forward through the stroke a little more. You're a little bit staccato on that. We want to drive through and maintain speed. And I spent two years in Lebanon, and after that I came here to Canada, to Montreal. I studied in the University of Montreal and swam with the team there. In 2008, at just 15 years old, Nabal Yamit was the youngest athlete to represent Lebanon at the Beijing Olympic Games. She competed in the 100-meter breaststroke event, finishing 45th in the world. Since then, moved to Fort McMurray and stepped back from the sport, but the thirst for more competition has renewed her interest. When I came here to Fort McMurray, I was like, why not try again? I met with Chris, he's amazing, and I was like, why not? So I tried the first month and all the training were perfect and I saw that I was progressing really fast. So I'm like, yeah, we should do that. <laughs> Nabal, it, it, it's an interesting story where she graduated from University of Montreal and then came here to sort of look for work and get back into swimming. And I had just started with the club at the same time. So we're so, sort of learning how each other work and working together while at the same time both coming into a new program. So it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. She's uh, you know, a really talented young lady. Uh, but a great example to everybody uh, right across the board from the youngest uh, youngest swimmers right on through to the older ones. We train uh, nine times a week so yeah this is like it, it takes a lot of dedication but I'm capable of doing that and I'm sleeping early to wake up early for the training so it's working out good. I think she's amazing <laughs> and to be 15 years old and going to the Olympics that's like a dream come true. Yamit's Olympic story has helped inspire the local swimmers to push harder and accomplish more than ever before. It's also been a great thing for the Fort McMurray Manta Swim Club because they get to see Yamit realize her dream of making it back to the world stage, this time with Canada. I thought we might, you know, certainly the club has, has developed Canadian national team Olympians in the past, uh, you know, with Mark Versfeld, Jen, uh, Jen Button, as well as Randy Bennett, who's uh, national team coach. Uh, so the, the club has that history to it. So I certainly thought over time we would be developing that, pro, uh, that uh, person or persons uh, over, over the, the, the course of my tenure here. But in terms of stepping into it and having an athlete at that level who's almost turnkey, no, that was, uh, that was a nice, uh, nice bonus in terms of a uh, bell and whistle on the program when I came in. So the goal is to qualify for the 2016 Olympics. The first step is to qualify for the World Championship this summer. So that's going to be based on my performance and if I make the B times, the FINA B times. Uh, I still have from now till maybe June or May to make the times or uh, make the, um, the score that I need to do. And uh, when I qualify to that, we see the next step. <laughs> Yamit will continue to pursue that dream for Go. Uh, I'm Doug Roxburgh.